Hi. Welcome to the lesson on uh, numeric functions. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to cover for you some of the more commonly used numeric functions. There's certainly a whole host more of numeric functions that are available for you, numeric and mathematical functions. And I've provided a URL to the documentation that's available out on the, on the web and you can go peruse that at your, at your own leisure. So let's let's jump in. Oh, by the way, it, as you should be following the workbook and it's asked you to open up the following six files so that's something that you need to do. And in this lesson we're just going to be covering the numeric functions. So let's get started. If you haven't already done so, uh, you can execute and run the query and you can see here that I'm pulling back from the securities financial table the column named hi and in the first function that I'm showing you there's a function called round and the round function allows you to round whole numbers or you can round decimal to whatever precision that you want to round to and so in the uh, in in the round function I'm rounding the, the syntax is round and then the column that you want to round and so I want to round the column named high and you can see that it's rounding it up to the next whole number for me. Now uh, I want to show you how to use the round function against the decimal since I'm my precision in decimal is only to two places what I've done is I've created a little mathematical operation inside where I'm taking the value of high and multiplying it times this constant. And this is the version of the round function that accepts two arguments and that is the column name. In this case it's the column name. It's really my expression. Comma and then the number of decimal places that we want to round to which is 2. So I want to take, do my multiplication and round by two decimal places. So if we go down and we examine 566388, you can see it rounds it up to 56.39. And then uh, finally, there's a function called truncate. And there's a, a pretty significant distinction between truncate and round. In truncate all we're going to do is we're going to remove any trailing decimal points but we're not going to apply a round function. So for example I've, I've taken the same function here that creates whatever four or five digit decimal and instead of applying the round function, I'm applying the truncate function and say and saying truncate this expression to two decimal places. And if we look down here, we'll see that indeed all it's doing is truncating the 848. It's not doing any rounding. So these are common functions that you're going to use. There are other there are other mathematical operate, uh, mathematical functions that are available with MySQL, actually quite a few, and I've provided a, a link in the workbook to those. So that concludes this lesson and you can now start the next lesson on string functions. I'll see you there. Bye.